Hi, and welcome again to One Big Thing, a KAC legislative update. This week's big thing is public safety answering points. Public safety answering points exist throughout the state to provide critical 911 services. We have bills in both chambers that are moving forward this year that deal with the public safety answering points, as well as the 911 council that currently exists. In both bills, this council would be converted to the 911 board um, and change the makeup of that board. But the Kansas Association of Counties would still have an appointee to that board. In addition, this legislation in both chambers proposes to allow, allow local PSAPs to contract with other PSAPs in order to provide those answering point services. This is important because there could be the potential for savings for counties to provide those services by partnering with each other. Obviously, this would have to be contracted for. In the in the House version of this bill, there is some language being proposed, as well as in the Senate version, that would allow for contracting of those services. Um, it, in the Senate version, there's actually an amendment that is being proposed that would change some of the language to allow the local PSAPs the freedom to contract for those services as they see fit and contract how much would be paid for those services. KAC is continuing to monitor this legislation as these public safety answering points are a critical function of government and must be properly maintained at the county level. If you have any questions about PSAPs or about the legislation in either House Bill 2690 or Senate Bill 487, please feel free to contact KAC as we continue to monitor, monitor this important legislation. That's all for now, but we look forward to talking to you again next week about some of the other things that are moving through the Kansas legislature.